Hey everyone, it's Maggie Bot here with a vlog, and I um, am not usually a big fan of doing something like a unboxing video, but um, my partner Brian seems to really like them because he he's he really I, I don't know he's he swears by them. So what I figured I'd do is do a vlog while I unbox something. So today I picked up a copy of. Argent the Consortium, so this is a worker placement game for something like two to five million players, though we played it with four last night, and I don't know that I would want to play it with five or six, unless everybody really knew the game, but um, so level 99, they're most famous for doing stuff like pixel tactics and a game called Battlecon, um, they're making a new Battlecon right now. So, um, we ordered Arjun at work, and, um, so I'm excited to, to get some more plays of this. So the idea here, and there's like a big old sleeve, see I'm doing the unboxing part right here. Um, see, sleeve thing to keep the, keep the box from opening when I have it in a bag, which is kind of nice, even though people tend to complain about those sleeves, but, um, this one, you are basically trying to be the next Dumbledore, right? You're trying to be the head of a house of magic at a school. And um, so what you're doing is you're sending your little mage dudes out to different parts of the board to gain influence and um, affect the votes of the voters at the end, of, like in the council or whatever. So um, as they do, level 99 has packed everything under the sun into this little box so there are lots of different resources lots of different types of mages everybody's got a unique power to them each color of mage has its unique property each of these is also double-sided so you can choose at the beginning um, which character you'd like to be and what power you'd like to have um, each part of the school is double sided so this is side A and then you have side B with slightly different um, places that you can go and at the core of the game it's a worker placement so you put workers down um, but they they don't resolve the action until everybody's placed everything or it's, it's very similar to the way you end a round in Luna where there are these bell tower cards once all four bell tower cards have been taken during the round that triggers the end of the round um, so if you guys have ever played Luna, it's exactly like the candles. Um, and what you can do with that is that if you have an advantageous position, you can start taking those bell tower cards, which give you kind of a minor resource or something, and you can actually speed up the round so maybe people cannot place all of their workers or play all their spells. Um, these are the little mages that you send out. Each different color has a different ability, so when you place it, it does a different type of thing. Um, and these are the bases that they go on. Now, the one thing level 99 could have done just as far as making this easier to use, what you do is on this piece, you can see it here, there's a little tray for um, a cardboard piece and you place your player color face up in that. Um, I would have much preferred that these be the color of the mage. So you draft these at the beginning and that each player had their own unique color because it's a little easier to see out on the board once you're playing. Um, they made really pretty color choice for the crystals. They're blue and dark blue and those are your mana. Um, and then you have, these are full of supporter cards and potions and treasures and all types of things. And then the spells, I know, I'm, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in here. The spells are this big, and most of them, you can't see it from the one on the top here, but most of them have a level that you start with with research, and then you kind of level it up as you go for a more and more powerful effect. Um, and then some kind of lackluster coins. Uh, I don't know if you can even see this. They're, they're pretty plasticky and weird. I may replace this with metal if I end up keeping this game. Um, but overall, not too bad. The insert is uh, the kind of vacuum-packed type, so those don't usually work so well with my storage solutions, with the little plastic bits that I like. Um, but what's nice is that the cards, you don't shuffle them or anything, so you don't really need to sleeve the game, so that's not going to affect anything. Um, 
so yeah, so now I did I did an unboxing and I did a vlog. Um, when I was playing, one of the more frustrating bits for your first play is that each game you're going to have 12 voters. So at the end of the game, each voter, you know, whoever has the most supporters gets a vote and that's a victory point. So there's 12 points all in all. There is a tie break in influence, but 10 of the voters are face down and you can earn the knowing what they're going to vote on throughout the game by getting marks. But especially in your first game, that feels really, really random almost. It's like a lot of hidden information and it's a lot of stuff to remember as you're going. So I think that was the thing that hit me as probably the most frustrating part about learning the game was just that you have 12 things that are going to get voted on. You probably can't win more than five or six of them is my assumption in a three or four player game. Um, so you really want to kind of find a few to focus on and spam those out. Uh, the first two that I looked at during the game were just horrible for me. I was already not in a good position to win those. So um, perhaps next time I will go a little stronger on that and make sure I get in some more of the marks until I find a few things to work on. Um, I'm really excited to try this though. Um, in, in the past I haven't done a lot with level 99 games. They tend to be not the aesthetic I like. They're kind of pixel arty or they have that anime, not anime, but very, very busy in artwork. And for me that just distracts so much from me playing the game. Uh, so I'm excited to give this one another go. This week the only, the I guess I picked up two other games. It's been a very busy week for gaming. Um, I picked up my copy of The Alchemist. Uh, I've been playing this game here and there for months, so I played it at Essen, I played it at BGG Con, I've played it at work a few times in our library, and um, so it's a worker placement game with a deduction puzzle at its core, and people always go to the app first because it uses an app to do, to hold the table of information that you're deducing from, so there's like a randomized chart of how everything's going to interact and you get access through actions in the game to par parts of that information so you can make assumptions about the rest of them. Um, the app is a minor aspect of the game. As long as one or two people at the table have a smartphone or tablet, it's not even going to be a big deal. So I think it, it's, not, it's not as obtrusive as people seem to think it's going to be. It's not that it's running the game for you. It's just a tool within the game so that you don't have to run the game with a DM type person. Um, and the last part, and I just got this tonight so I haven't even opened it, I guess two unboxings. Um, this is Daniel Solis's uh, Koi Pond. Uh, he does these uh, print-on-demand games through drive through cards. So you order them and they print them and they come in these little packages. So I'm used to drive through cards for prototypes that people send. Um, so I'm, the, you see this. Um, but this looks really beautiful. Uh, it's one of his best-selling games on the site. He does a lot of games for them just through drive through cards. He doesn't even bother trying to get more traditional publishing methods. Um, I'm excited to give this a go. Uh, it'll actually be my first Daniel Solis game, which seems odd to me because he has so many and I really like reading his blogs and things like that. So I'll be giving this a try this week as well. I have my work cut out for me. Um, yeah, so that's everything for tonight. I'm sorry if I'm a little lopsided. I'm going to buy a new tripod. Apparently, new camera doesn't like this tripod, but <laughs> my problem, not yours. <laughs> so I will see you guys soon, and bye.